it's bright in here because the windows open and the curtains are drawn I didn't draw the curtains because they're physical curtains you you could draw on the curtains I suppose why do they say drawn when they meant slid over the thermostat is not communicating with our furnace upstairs so it may get warm again today which sucks so I need to call the furnace repair people because this problem is well beyond me and I'm tired of sweating we only have a few more weeks of this kind of weather and then we'll be cooling off but it's mid 70s which isn't bad it's just that this office gets hot not just because of the equipment especially my dual 30 inch monitors but because the sun's exposure on this side of the house especially when it's not cloudy outside this shelf is starting to evolve with fan art people who have made things for me or my likeness this shelf is now filled with vaders which were previously on shelves over there and then you know what's happening up there i'm really liking how that's coming together though look at that yeah, I know. I finally got dirt underneath my fingernails. Probably from all that cleaning. Okay, well, then you can do it too. Your brother's going down to put dirt underneath his fingernails now. We have to wait in line for gas. And so I got in the shortest line, and Diana told me... That your gas tank was on that side. Which would have been embarrassing to get to the front of the line only to realize that <laughs> I had forgotten which side of the car my gas tank was on. I, I did find the shortest line though, to my credit. Give us a minute. We've got a happy birthday video to record. What? Okay, I'm ready. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Laura, who is Diana's brother's girlfriend. May you live long and prosper, because she's a fellow geek. That's right. Three, two... Happy birthday, Laura! We love you and I hope you're having a great day. Someone named Madison Buss had a dream about us. So you emailed me, this is what she says, and only me, and told me that you and Diana were doing sorta a treasure hunt thing with one fan and their family, so you picked me. Uh, we picked her. And so we followed you, and you got another dog and named it Max. But one bad thing about the dream was Joseph was gonna break up with me. I wouldn't tell him where I was going or what I was doing, so he tracked me and met with me at the first stop in Chicago, Illinois, and I wouldn't talk to him there, so he was so close to breaking up with me, but I was able to get him to not be mad at me. I'm not sure if that was a good dream or a nightmare. Diana would like to go see the movie Jobs, which I'm not terribly excited to see, but I am going to see it and give it a fair shake because I want to use it as this week's tech topic video, my thoughts on the matter. I've read a lot of the reviews, including the reviews from fellow Apple co-founder, Steve Wozniak. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Suffice it to say, the reviews are definitely mixed, and I'm going in with an open mind. Very open. And an open pocketbook, because I think this is going to be overpriced. Well, we saw the movie. I have decided to trace something a bit detailed. I may have bitten off more than I could chew. Let's just see how this turns out. They didn't include a black pencil, so I'm improvising. Everyone has a short attention span, including myself. So I started writing about what I enjoyed finding online in my discoveries and kept doing that, kept doing that, and figured out the business model around it, not being someone who realized that he was uh, myself, talking to myself in the third person here. Um, <laughs> the uh, idea of making money from being yourself is a foreign concept and is now becoming a bit more accepted. So I have 
learn to embrace that lifestyle of entrepreneurship because there's no way I could live my life any other way. The uh, idea, though, of taking what I thought was interesting and translating that so that someone can understand it was the biggest value that I had in the marketplace. And there's been so many drink failures tonight. I don't know, is that something like glasses or something? Or is that beer really good? I don't know, either way. It's a great time to be living in right now with the ability of taking your idea and making it come to fruition. And I think if I had any tip for longevity, it's, I mean, now the buzzword is pivot, but it changed. You can't be afraid to change. And here's the thing, shit is going to change beyond your control and you gotta be ready to adapt to it. And this is probably more difficult if you're playing with somebody else's money than if you're playing with your own money because there are different sets of risks. And so anything that I talk about in mitigating risk, it's figuring out how to bootstrap something so that I don't lose my shirt. Of course, with great risk comes great reward. So I'm always trying something new, seeing how I can balance and uh, leverage what I might have to make something else happen. I've always known that there are more people who don't know who I am than who do know who I am. So what am I going to do to get to people who don't know who I am? So then the challenge I had to face was how do I take my personality and the attention that I might have and parlay it into something bigger? How, how do I scale myself? I'm a geek hoodie and kind of sort. What's that? Please don't. Take your picture, take your picture. Can you see? Yeah, I got there's mesh. No, what's your good boy? <laughs> the video is just so powerful, and I, I cannot explain this enough. Even if you have no personality, you have a story, and there are better cameras potentially to use, but it's not about the camera. This is this is the camera right there. Not doing it or expecting you're gonna wait for the right camera, right budget, right this, that, and the other thing. You're just gonna write yourself completely out of history. Like you've got to just do it and try. Chris, thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know if it's hot in this house or if I've just been moving around a lot, but I am breaking a sweat. I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. I guess my home is my castle. I'm proud of it and I want to take care of the things that are mine. This will work. Jonathan Polk says he didn't choose the Empire Life, the Empire Life chose him. Thank you, Brandon Henderson. I'm very glad to say that Onionzilla is now dead. I picked up another Vader yesterday for seven bucks, and this one... Oh, Akil, you're trying to frighten Diana, but she's no longer scared of Darth Vader. She's not afraid of Darth Vader himself, but this toy does kind of scare her a bit. Normally, I don't get to open packages on Sunday, and I won't be able to open this one either, unless I find the right seam. Oh, it's something for Perillo Picks. What say you, Pixie? Do we have enough time tonight to assemble the planets? I've been waiting to put these together for a few days now. I've found that using lunch trays helps with organizing the pieces during assembly. And I love putting them together because they don't take very long. And in no particular order, I present to you Series 3. This piece is quite unique, because in order to use it, first, unique up on it. I'm really going to have to run a brightness filter in this segment, if I can get all these planets, or at least items that look like planets, onto the shelf. There we go. The collection. Stop it, Coruscant. Thank you. I wish I had some Turkish delight on this moonlit night.
Thanks again for liking, commenting, and sharing all our videos.